What is the evolution of Green Pad now? You guys are coming out with a bigger pad that we've been giving away as grand prizes uh, for the bigger growers because Booyah! CO2 generation in larger areas, if you have a central source of uh, original Green Pad, it becomes a little bit more difficult <laughs> because you have to place them around. But you guys saw a, a potential problem got in front of it, and came out with the GDP, the granddaddy pad. Absolutely. A lot of people said, hey, I'm hanging up all five of these green pads at one time, and we love them, but how can we get maybe a bigger package of them because we just want to use more of them? And that was the answer with the GDP. Price point came down quite a bit. It lasts longer. It's real easy to use. Hey, Eva. <laughs> Go ahead, turn on his mic. So, I think, so, I think someone activated that thing. I'm feeling kind of dizzy. He's here. just sweaty. Hey, but, man. My, my con, man. But I will tell you that it is. It, 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 <laughs> turn off his mic. Turn his off. <laughs> okay. So, now you know how I feel. I, I've been here. You know, this is probably my fifteenth appearance, so I'm used to it. <laughs> but uh, something we wanted to point out tonight that, especially this summertime right now, yeah. in some of the states that are really dry, and since the green pads are activated by humidity or moisture, as we all know. This is what can help you keep them working, even when you don't have the chance to get into your garden. A simple sponge. A simple sponge. Here, let me take this right here. Hey, okay, show, yeah. show us how that sponge is going to keep our green pads uh, more active than normal. We call this the sponge method. The sponge All right. Effect. Is it where <laughs> I grow my beard out and then I try and kiss my wife and she's like, Ew, that, Ew you smell that, like that, sponge. That tastes like weed and beer. Ew. So you simply grab the, 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 the sponge and you moisten it up. Now, you don't want it really dripping wet. You just want it fairly wet and... Fold it up in the middle of the sponge like a sponge taco. Okay. And that's it. Now, the, it's activated by moisture, so occasionally when you walk out of your room, squeeze that sponge a little bit. Get a little bit of that water into the chemistry of the green pad, the granddaddy pad. Again, this will be a continuous release of CO2. It won't slow down. When you have a drier room, then you don't have to worry about not being active because well, the humidity is not well, quite Most enough. guys are measuring their humidity in their rooms. Uh, if they're using the green pads... And they're between, what, 50 to 60% fine, they're active. But if they fall below that, then use a sponge method? Or they want to just make sure to get a higher level of CO2. Okay. You know, it's kind of like have the ability to turn the valve on your tank a little bit. Now, right. You know, so there's a little on and off. So you can't certainly turn it off so much, but you can make it produce more CO2, more humidity, or more moisture in the form of that little wet sponge. You squeeze it. Again, that's, that's it. Now, this is still going to contribute CO2 for about three weeks. So you put a new one in after about 14 days, cycle in one after the other. Actually, the humidity level, which is needed for them to activate yeah. completely on their own, is 35% or higher. Okay. But let's hope people have, yeah. you know, a higher right. humidity rate than do, that. Do they so become more active with a higher humidity? Yes. Quicker release. Okay, so, Quicker release. so that's exactly what the sponge is doing. Exactly. Duh, he just said that, right? Well, Cassie you know, a lot, of, like, a, lot of, <laughs> a lot right, of people hang it under their light or they'll put it in front of the fan. And, you know, you don't, you want to keep that moisture in there. And so we've, we've learned that the sponge method is really the best way.